Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Over here I do Daz 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Now making sure that we have the best quality models on show when we're doing our rendering is one of the keys to getting the best images that we can. Having a super high res version model with lots of details on display can turn an okay render into a great render and in this video I'm going to show you how to actually do that. Uh, as you can see on screen we have our model on display ready to be worked with and from this particular angle and distance nothing really looks amiss, everything looks fine. We could happily hit render and could produce a perfectly fine, albeit a little bit boring maybe, image uh, that we could be proud of. Uh, but if we were to switch to a, a camera angle and position that was a little bit closer to our model she suddenly now looks like she's been pulled from an early 2000s computer game. Everything just looks a little bit... Yeah. Well, why is that? Well, in what I've actually done is I've deliberately turned down the resolution of the model so that I can actually show you how to turn it back up so that you can see the difference between what we have here on screen and what we have with a super high res version. And this is how we can improve the quality of our models very easily and very quickly. And it's just a simple slider. And that's what we're going to get into right now. Now, if we were just to switch back to the perspective camera for a moment, uh, come up here on the perspective, you can see that I've zoomed in quite a little bit in towards the character's face. Uh, and if I come up and change across to wire texture shaded, you can see the underlying polygons that make up the character's face in and of itself. Now these big polygons tell us that we're dealing with a low resolution model, but best quality, what we really want is for these polygons to be as small as possible so that we can, we can squeeze more and more detail into the same space. Uh, now with our model selected, we come up and then just select our model up here. Uh, what we want to do, we want to come down to the general tab and just expand that out and come down to where it says mesh resolution. Uh, and what we're going to do and what we're interested in is this slide here that's called sub division level. As you can see, I've got it set at zero at the moment, but by default, it normally comes as a two. So the zero is the lowest resolution level that we can actually have. Now, what happens when we increase the subdivision level from zero to one? Come from a zero, give it a click, move it up to one. You can see that these big polygons on the screen have been split into four equal parts. If I go back to zero, you'll also notice something else. Zero. You can see that the, the model itself seems to change. This is the result of the higher resolution that we put on our model into. A little bit more detail is able to be added with these extra vertices that are being added in that have created these extra polygons on the model's face. Now if we move from subdivision 1 up to subdivision 2 just by hitting the little plus sign, uh, we can see that there's even more detail now that's been added to the model's face as the resolution has got higher. Uh, we now have 16 times, as you can see, four by four, 16 times as many polygons in our model overall than what we had at subdivision zero. Now, most character models, as I mentioned earlier, come as a default at subdivision two. So this is what you'll normally get when you load in a brand new model. And when we move to subdivision level three, again, I'll just hit the plus sign to do that. We now have 64 times the polygons in our model than what we had at subdivision level zero. All that extra resolution starts to bring out a lot more detail in the skin. Also something else happening at this point as well. It's at level three where all those models that have a HD version start to come to the fore. Uh, it's here where the creators of the model start to sculpt those HD, HD details that you'll, that you'll see and that you pay for, of course. Uh, so if you have a HD model, but you've never moved the subdivision level higher than a two, then you've probably been missing out. Now at subdivision level four, if we just again click the, click, uh, the plus sign to increase it, you're probably at the max of what most people's systems will be able to handle. What we have now are 256 times the number of polygons in our model than what we started off with 
at subdivision zero. Uh, and you can see that evidence of that in all the extra little detail that you can see on the skin. There's little bumps, there's little pock marks, there's little little spots and pimples all over the place. Uh, all added in by the creator when they've sculpted the HD version of this model. You get more detail at HD level four if the creator's added it in. But these extra polygons that have been added come with a price. They need memory both here in the viewport and also certainly at render time when you hit the render button. Now you could, if you had a monster of a system, go up beyond level four. And the way that we do that is we come up to this little cog that we see here, you give it a click, parameter settings, and then just make sure that use limits is unchecked. Uh, and then hit accept. And then you could take it up to whatever number you so decide. I'm not going to do it because it'll take a while to create all the polygons, but I never rarely go beyond level four. Uh, I could, I can handle five. My system can handle level five, but the reason why I don't go beyond four is that you end up in the realms of diminishing returns. You don't get much more added detail that you can visibly see or make or what makes a difference but you start eating up all that memory that you've got and everything starts to run slow. Your viewport will become laggy uh, and certainly your setup time before your, your render actually starts will take a long time to actually do. So what difference does increasing our subdivision level make when it comes to our renders? Well, let's take a look. If I transition back and forth between each of the subdivision levels, you can see how the details start to emerge as the levels increase. Uh, the biggest differences seem to be, to be between level zero and one and level two and three. The latter of course being where the, the designer of the model added the HD sculptor, while level four seems to sharpen those HD details even further. Uh, a few things to be aware of. I mentioned earlier the increased memory requirements. Uh, make sure you have the memory in your system and, and on your graphics card to push the subdivision levels up to level three and four. Uh, to get the sub D4, I would say you'll probably need a 32 gigabytes system memory and eight gig bytes of graphics card memory. Now that's just best case of my case because each model and, and certainly each scene that you're creating is different with the different amount of resources that are needed. Uh, if you go too high then what will happen is you, you, your CPU will take over the rendering and your GPU will just be redundant and you'll end up with an extremely slow render time. Some good news though if you're looking to render an image out from a slight distance like from what I have here set up in this camera in this scene then you probably don't need to go beyond subdivision level two. Uh, it'll be hard to pick out the details that sub D3 would bring anyway from this distance. So you probably don't need to go above two for this. Although again, it's dependent on your scene, what you're looking for, and it's something that you're really going to have to judge for yourself. So that's how you'd increase the resolution of your models within DAS. Uh, play around with the sub D you know, slider and, and find the limits of what you can get away with with your particular system and the particular scene that you're trying to do. Uh, feel free to push the level up higher if you're doing something in close to the model where the details will show, uh, but be, feel free to leave it down at the default if you're doing something from a little bit distance uh, like what I've got on screen at the moment. Uh, so I hope you got something out of this video. Give it a like down below and share it around if you have done so as it will help me out big time uh, likewise if you've not already please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on future daz 3d videos uh, so that's it increase in resolution i'll see you next time bye bye now